Right, I thought it was probably about time I did another quick update video on the Raptor Supercharged XR8 build. Um, after running good for two days, I went to take it to work on Monday and it started up with a really bad misfire. Um, and reflecting back on it, it's a lot like an old points ignition system misfire when you've got a set of shitty old worn out points. Um, so I have gone down the garden path of trying practically every component in the ignition system you can imagine. Um, new ignition module, different coils, different leads, different plugs, um, everything except the crank position sensor. Um, but I decided to pull the intake off and just see if I'd blown an intake gasket, which was a huge mistake. Um, snapped off one of the bolts in the head, luckily it was the, the front right hand side or driver's side bolt there, um, which turned into a bit of a battle to get out, but we've got that out, now we've got all the intake surfaces cleaned and prepped, and we're ready to go back together with new intake gaskets and a new crank position sensor, and hope like hell that actually fixes the misfire. Um, so yeah, watch this space, but um, I just thought I'd do a quick update video for the guys that have actually been following this build and um, just let you guys know what's going on and also wanted to just say thanks for the guys that are following it and that have commented on the videos, that's real cool. Um, so, you know, maybe I'll get lucky and uh, get this all together today and get it running again um, and maybe the crank position sensor will be the issue. Um, one thing with the, this is a 220 kilowatt motor, um, and this crappy phone camera is probably not going to pick it up, but the intake ports are actually quite well done. Um, one of the big restrictions I've found in this setup is the lower plenum where it goes onto the heads there is not port matched at all. The lower plenum ports are really small and restrictive, so if you wanted to get more power out of one of these XR8s, um, there'd be heaps to be gained by porting the lower plenum. Um, which I intended to do but it hasn't happened, life's got in the way, I'm in the process of moving house and a bunch of other shit so um, it's just going to have to go back on and we need to try and get this thing running so I can get it out of here. Um, so wish me luck and hopefully I can do another update sooner rather than later and let you know how I'm getting on. Oh well, cheers guys, see you later. Well, I got it together today and got it going again and it's definitely running better with the new crank position sensor um, but the problem is definitely not cured it has a weird miss It's real weird, if you hold it at like a fast idle it seems to run fine, as soon as you give it a stab or put it under load it just misses like a motherfucker. Oh dear, I think we're going to have to shelve this I guess, and fucking have another crack at it. The joys of fucking around with performance shit. Oh well, until next time.